All right, inside my room at Rio Republica, the cheapest five-star option here in Punta Cana. Now, I am not calling this five-star. Google is calling this five-star. Rio Republica is calling it five-star. I think five-star is probably a bit of a stretch. It's probably closer to four than five, but this is $99 a night, all inclusive. This room alone is worth $99 a night in my opinion. The fact you get an all-inclusive is just the cherry on top. Uh, I'm here for four nights and I'm going to do everything I can on this property to see what it is like, but that is gonna be in a different video. In this video, I'm just gonna give you a room tour, a dedicated room tour. If you wanna to come to Punta Cana and you want a really decent room for 100 bucks a night, this could be the spot for you. Uh, I just got here, I just walked into the room, so we are going to explore this together. Let's check it out. So I normally start in the bathroom and today is gonna be no different. It's actually decently sized in here. Um, not a lot of privacy. You don't have a separate door for the shower or for the toilet, so it's an open floor layout. You do have a dual vanity. You have a split vanity. You have a shower here, I can appreciate the glass panel on it. I did wish it had a door. And I also don't like these canisters. They just seem cheap. I want my own individual packets. I don't like knowing that other people have used this or been in my hotel room. I know people have been in this hotel room, lots of people, but I don't want to think about it. I want my individual packets. And I guess here they are. These are like in little plastic pouches, which is interesting. You have conditioner and then you have body milk. Other than that, this bathroom is pretty basic. Let's get out of here. You do have your closet right here with your ironing board and your safe and all that standard stuff. You have somewhat of a full length mirror here to check yourself out before you step out into the Punticana action. And as we swing around to the mini bar, I love it when they have these gigantic waters waiting for you. These gigantic waters are everything in Punticana. I like that. And then they have a couple more waiting for you down here. When I first got to the room, I, I was here for like five seconds and I get a knock on the door. It was the mini bar guy and he basically put one of these right in my face, opened it for me, and then lined my refrigerator with them, which I can really appreciate. These little mini bullets right here, I've talked about these in my videos, these are awesome. Just portable, put them right in your pocket. Besides the two more jumbo waters and the row of silver bullets right here, uh, we have some assorted sodas as well and some more waters. This mini bar is nicely stocked. It's actually better stocked than the one at Hard Rock, which is where I just came from. And as we flip around here is the core part of the room. You have your bed area right here, and then you have your lounging area out there, and you have a really nice balcony. That balcony is actually great. I love the lush views. I'll show you those in just a second. I'm liking the tropical motif. I love the white and the teals. It really makes me feel like I am in the Dominican Republic and definitely somewhere in the Caribbean. Let's check out this bed. It is really springy, and I typically loathe springy beds, but this like has a soft component too. It's really nice. I'm impressed. Lots of outlets on the wall right here. Two more USBs over there. You have a starfish backdrop on the headboard. That is really cool. I love the vibes in this room. This room, you can tell, has some miles on it, but it's freshly painted. It's clean. It's nice and white and bright. It's effervescent. I have seen a lot worse rooms in my life. So, so far, I'm thinking that $99 is a tremendous value. Let's check out the rest of this room. So here is the sitting portion of the room. I like that teal accent wall. This couch is pretty much made of plastic. It is not leather. It is complete plastic. But you know what? I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. You could maybe even sleep on here if you wanted to. This is not as uncomfortable as it looks. It might even be nap worthy if you can get over the size, but that is really nice actually. And there really isn't a desk in this room, so I guess this is pretty much your workstation as well. And as we open up this door, this is the, probably the best part of the room. This balcony has some space to it, it's nice. Two chairs, little end table right there. You have a shelf here to put your stuff, probably your swimsuits or anything you wanna keep dry. And as we go back over here, look at these lush views. It is lush. I actually can't remember a greener, more tropical view in a different hotel room than this one. This is really nice. Great views of the ocean. You can see some electric waters out there. People walking by. I'm liking this room. I'm liking it. So even though this room really isn't my forte, I typically stay at places a little nicer than this, an uptick in elegance and luxury and quality. Uh, this is a great value to me from a room perspective. Now I'm here for four nights. 
and this video is gonna end, but that's really where my main video gets started. That's where I do as much as possible. I try to visit all the pools, I go to the beach, I try to find the best restaurants, the best drinks. I basically just try to engage the campus as much as I can for four days and really see what this property has to offer. And again, I am shocked that this place is even in business for $99 all inclusive. How can that be? There has to be a drawback, right? Well, I can say I was just at Hard Rock, which is next door. And this beach looks even better than Hard Rock's. And Hard Rock's beach was the best beach I've been to thus far. It was better than TRS Turquesa's and better than Secrets, which is pretty much the best hotel here in Punta Cana. This beach even looks better. It might be because this is one of the original hotels here and it has a great spot. I don't know. So for $99 a night, if the beach is good and the room is good, is the pool gonna be good? Is the food gonna be good? What if everything is just good and this is one of the best values in Putacata? That's what I'm here to find out, but that's gonna be in a different video. Again, this is hotel number four of nine for me. I'm in Putacata for over a month. I'm checking out nine of the best all-inclusive hotels. Eight of them are adults only. That's my preference. And that's why I'm at Rue Republica.